Hi everybody, and welcome to another Frozen review. Today I got something really, really cool in the mail, and I'm like crazy excited about it. I just want to record it, take a look at these. These are the figures of Frozen that are from Japan. These are the Sega figures, and yes, yeah, Sega as in the company that made Sonic. They have cream machines in Japan, and these went in the cream machines, so they're prize figures. And some of you may know, there's the logo. Some of you may know a Disney Frozen is actually called Disney Anna and the Snow Queen in Japan, so it's got a different title. But it's the exact same movie, obviously. And uh, Sega came out with these figures for their cream machines, and they, the pictures I saw online were just crazy amazing. I was really, really wanting them. So I actually bought both of these together, which was actually cheaper than buying them separately, obviously for shipping and everything. And the seller I bought these from on eBay was in California, so that was even better. And I got them pretty fast. So I'm gonna open these up and we're gonna take a look at these together. The boxes are pretty simpleized. There's nothing epic about them. They're just basic, basically designed with the Frozen theme and the Japanese Frozen logo there for Anna and the Snow Queen. Nothing too outrageous about them. So let's just open them up and just take a look at them because I'm dying to know. So I got them out of their boxes. Elsa comes with this stand instructions. Of course, it's in Japanese, but I don't think it's going to be like crazy hard to see. I'm not gonna put their stands on just yet because I want you to see their feet, and it, sometimes it's hard to see their feet when they're on the stand. But here is Elsa, and oh my gosh, this is like the prettiest figure of her ever. Oh my. Look at that cape. So many sparkles and twinkles and the detail in there. Like you can see the snowflakes. So really, really nice. Her face is just gorgeous. The only thing that's really missing is her like little snowflakes in her hair. But I mean, that is so minor compared to her gorgeous face sculpt and her paint job is just wow. There is sparkles here on her bodice. And the paint is pearlescent on her dress here. Like it's two-toned. It's like light blue and then turquoise, dark blue down here at the bottom. And her shoes are the snowflakes. Wow, she is amazing. Her hair, her hair design is on par. Everything about her is just great. Wow. Okay, let's try to put her on her stand here. I'm hoping it won't be too hard. Okay. It's just basically shimming her on there, I think. Okay, well, let's actually look at these instructions. It's telling you to flip the cape up, okay? I don't know why I need to flip the cape up, but we'll see. And it goes past the I don't know I'm not quite sure I think I got it on there it looks like a stain <laughs> all right so there's Elsa so we'll look at Anna now Anna's pretty face wow the paint jobs for a prize figure is I mean, you get these out of cream machines. We're definitely missing out here, and even got a little emblem on her hat there painted in. We're really, really missing out here in the United States with cream machines that give out prizes like this. I mean, I'm impressed. <laughs> 
I don't know about you, but I am definitely impressed. And I really love their poses. Here's the bottom of her dress. Looks really nice. All the detailing here. All her cape. She's got her stockings underneath. And her boots. Gorgeous. Really, really nice. And she didn't come with a instructions. But I guess that was because she doesn't have a cape. And Elsa does and they wanted to make sure you knew to move the cape so you can... My table's a little uneven. But there is Elsa and Anna together. And they are amazing figures. Oh my gosh. The boxes are pretty plain for these, but taking them out and displaying them without their boxes is where it's at. Because, I mean... <laughs> I'm so glad that I got these. I waited quite a while before I ordered them, but I try to not get in too big of a hurry being a collector. It's just something that I choose to do. That way I get the best price that I think they're worth. Because sometimes when they are resold, they are overpriced. So I try to be patient. But wow, guys, these are so pretty. So let me know what you think of these. <laughs> I think they're obviously amazing. They look so awesome together. I wish I had made an Olaf with these, but I am 100% satisfied with these figures. They are super tall. <laughs> they go so well together. They are just amazingly pretty. And they are so, so cute. So if you guys have any ideas or thoughts about these, leave them in the comments. But yeah, I think these are amazing figures. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next Frozen review. Alright, bye.